Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We have been covering this OWL framework for quite some time now and I already have done a couple of videos on it. They have been evolving quite rapidly and improvement is staggering. In this video, I am going to show you yet another feature which they have recently introduced where you can use this OWL with web interface in a GUI. Plus, we will also be talking about the Anthropics model context protocol a bit which is now supported in this OWL. If you are interested in detailed architecture and the whole framework and how to get it installed locally and then how to use a very basic example for agent collaboration then just search my channel and you should be able to find a couple of videos around OWL. I will be installing it again on my local system and we will see how it works. And if you just want a very high level this OWL is something which has come out of the agentic collaboration. So what it offers is that it is a framework for multi-agent collaboration that pushes the boundaries of task automation. And this has been built on top of the Camel AI framework, which also are sponsoring this video. So Camel AI is one of the open source tool out there which is focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with application in data generation, task automation and world simulation. So coming back to this OWL, let's try to get it installed locally and then we will see how its GUI works. As I said, if you are interested in more of its architectural detail such as this, just go to my channel and search for OWL and you should be able to find this video and that should get you across. This is my Ubuntu system where I am going to run this OWL. So the first step which we need to do is to make sure to have a virtual environment. With Conda you can create with UV or you can get it installed with Docker. It is quite flexible tool. So let's wait for this Conda environment to be created. And now let's git clone the repo of OWL and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let's build it in the editable format with the help of pip and this is going to take a minute or so and everything is installed now let's go to all directory within that repo and then i am just going to rename the environment file because we are going to use api based model for this let me quickly show you what i mean so i'm just going to open it in my vs code and this is what this environment file looks like so for the purpose of this demo what i'm going to do i'm just going to set my api key from openai if you don't have it just go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key that is a paid option or you could use coins model or deep seeks model even grok or azure open ai and then i'm just going to leave this google api key as is what i'm going to use is this chunkers api key and fire crawls api key and if you don't know what chunkers api key is chunker is primarily an api service to convert complex documents into llm rag ready data and they support wide range of document types including pdfs office files and images and a lot of other stuff and you can check them out on this url and both of these firecrawl and chunker they offer free tier so you can get your api key and then use their free tier and that is what i'm going to use in this video so let me set both of these keys save the file and go back to my terminal and that is done let me clear the screen and run this web ui so all we need to do is to just run this our web app.php and i'll also show you so this is the one you can either run it from local folder or go back so i'm just going to go back one directory and then run it from there and this is the english version if you want to run the chinese version there is also web app underscore zh which is a chinese language code and there you go you can see that now it is running on our local host at the default gradio port so let's go to gradio and then open it in the gradio there you go so this is wherever owl is running i'm just going to decrease a bit so that we would see what is happening now this gives you a lot of features and as i said it is evolving quite rapidly so you can have easy model selection you can choose between different models like open ai coin and deep seek and others which i showed you earlier plus you can configure your um, api keys and other stuff you can have 
an interactive chat interface like you can see on the screen at the moment where you can communicate with all agents through a user friendly interface you can even check out your history also one very important thing is that no data is sent to any of the external servers beyond what's required for the model api calls you configure so now let me run this demo where we are having a multi-agent collaboration where the question is to open google search summarize the github stars fork counts and then um, we are just asking it to run to use this run as you can use this you know with open ai and all that stuff so i'm just going to uh, use it like this which is a default and then this is a module description as what sort of mode it is be it is using it is just using this open AIS mode so i'm just going to click on run and you can see that the state is ready there are a lot of other uh, examples down if you want to check out others but i'm just going to go and stick with this one so let me click on run and i have just selected a simple one just to show you how it works so i just went in and asked it to do me a write a hello world python file just to save api costs too anyway uh, the point here is there you go so this is a previous one which it was still running and i have already started another one so it is all collaborating if i just click here you see there is a user agent there is an assistant agent and then they are talking among each other and if you scroll down it is getting the data it is just doing the plotting and lot of other stuff so it is going one by one and as i said you can if you just look here on the right hand side you can check your environment variable one thing is that once you click on it it shows you the api keys and fields so they are not masked that is why i'm not showing you otherwise you can change and set your api keys here and for models as i said earlier you can just select any model from here so it takes a bit of a time but you can just check the progress here on the right hand side and it is telling you that it has written the this python code on um, in this file plot underscore github underscore stats and there you go so it has completed everything if you scroll down this is where it has run all the agents in tandem and they have also collaborated with each other and you can obviously just uh, change it as per your own stuff here so for example i'm asking you to give me an itinerary to sydney for one day trip it is processing it on the right hand side multiple agents are collaborating with each other so user agent is talking and then there is this all the one day trip there is assistant agent you see it is just talking about all the attractions in sydney it is going step by step and there you go the task has been completed as you can see with multiple agents here and you can also check the task completion here it is also a bit of how many tokens it's used also um, if you are interested you can even implement something called as model context protocol which we already have covered on the channel in, in general model context protocol is an open standard which was developed by anthropic and few others to allow ai assistants to connect seamlessly with external systems where data resides it primarily enhances AI adaptability and functionality. And now this OWL also supports that MCP, which you can use readily because it is integrated and it provides you a standardized way uh, for your AI models to interact with various tools and data sources. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this OWL. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, Please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.